Watch, we start the 7 o'clock hour this morning with an amazing story that several people are recovering in the hospital after an explosion at a west side Detroit home last night. Right now, crews are investigating what caused the blast, and Victor Williams is at the scene with more details. Victor, what are you learning? Well, we're learning about the causes, or at least the believed cause, of this home explosion. First off, it's an absolute miracle that people actually survived being inside of this evergreen home when the explosion happened. Now, DTE, they cut gas lines last night, and they're looking into this with their own investigation. For hours, multiple fire and police crews blocked off this evergreen neighborhood on Detroit's west side Saturday night. Our cameras there as firefighters try to put out the blaze. And there's flames everywhere, man. It's, man, it, it's, it was crazy. I, that's all I can say. It was crazy. Detroit fire leaders tell me they're investigating a possible explosion inside the home. Fire crews say they believe this was a possible gas leak. You mix that problem with someone inside lighting a cigarette and you have an explosion. Daniel Lyons says he heard the boom from inside his home on the next block. We talking about an explosion that you would hear on YouTube or something like that. I, mean, I thought we were going to World War III. I ain't going to hold you up. The power of the explosion could be seen instantly. Two doors from the home in the middle of the street. Glass everywhere and debris outside of the home covered the yard. We do know six people were inside the home at the time, all in their 20s and 30s. They all have second degree burns on their bodies. I just thank God I didn't have a chain reaction on somebody else's house or something like that. And we're told that police are also looking into an AK-47 that was recovered from the bedroom. We'll keep you updated on what happens out of that situation. Reporting live this morning, Victor Williams, Local 4. Back All right, Victor, thank you.